Before we learn more about series, let's do a little thought experiment and think about what happens when we use the assignment operator. Let's try doing a little bit of modeling of some code. First, let's think about variables as if they were containers that we can put objects into. This is actually not a very correct way of thinking about it, but it's a convenient one. So here's our first line of code. First number equals three. So I'm gonna put a three in my first number variable. My next line of code, second number equals first number, which means take whatever is in first number and put the same thing in second number. Okay, cool. Now, second number equals six. Let's take this out, put this in. So, last line of code, print first number. Let's see what first number is. It's a three. All right, let's try this out with some real code. So here I have the lines of code we just simulated. Let's try running them and see if we get the same result. Oh, look, we got a three, that's great. Let's try simulating a more complicated Python object, a list. Here's our first line of code. First list equals square brackets dog, cat, bird. All right, dog's gonna go into slot zero, cat into slot one, Bird into slot two. Okay, done. Second list equals first list. All right. One way to think about this would be to say, I have a second list object here. Call it second list. And make second list have the same thing in it as the first list. Okay, great. I'll put in dog, cat, and bird. All right, second list is equal to first list. Now, if I take second list item number one and make it be horse, What am I gonna get if I print the second list? I'm gonna get dog, horse, and bird. What am I gonna get if I print the first list? Dog, cat, and bird. All right, let's try really running this code. So here's the code that I just simulated. And what we predicted based on that simulation is that we changed item number one of the second list to horse. So when we print the second list, we expect to get dog, horse, bird, but we didn't change the first list, so we expect to still have dog, cat, and bird. Let's see if that's what we get. Uh, okay, we did not get what we expected because we got dog, horse, and bird both times after we changed the item number one in the second list to horse. So clearly we're thinking about something in the wrong way. The problem here is that what we're really doing when we use the assignment operator is to assign new names to the objects. So let's try thinking about the simulation in a more correct way. We'll start with our first line of code. First number equals three. What we really need to be doing is taking this immutable object, the literal value of three, and applying a label of first number to it. When we say first number equals second number, what we're really doing is putting another label on first number. Then if we say second number equals six, 
we're applying this label to another immutable object. Now if we ask what is the value of first number, the value of first number is 3. So either way we think about the first code example, we get the same result whether we think about the variables as containers that we put objects in, or whether we consider the assignment operator to be assigning labels to the objects. Either way, we get the same answer of 3. However, when we apply the labels to mutable objects, then the results are different than if we're using immutable objects with the assignment operator. So let's see how that works in the second example. All right, let's try simulating this code the way things really work. First list is equal to square bracket dog cat bird. Second list equals first list. All I'm doing is adding a new name to the list. Second list item number one equals horse. Print second list dog, horse, bird. Print first list, dog, horse, bird. So what we see here is that if we think about the assignment operator as simply assigning a second label to the same mutable object, then the result that we get, which is dog, horse, and bird for both the first and the second list, actually makes sense. If what we want to do with the assignment operator is to actually make a new copy of the list, then we have to explicitly say that's what we want to do by using the copy method. If I use the copy method on the list, then the second list actually is a copy of the first list rather than just a renaming of the first list. If I run this code, I see that changing item number one of the second list does result in horse being in the second list, but it does not change the value of cat because the second list is actually a copy of the first list and not just a renaming of the first list. So what is the relevance of this to series? This is important because when you make a slice of a series, that slice is not a copy of parts of the original series, it's just simply a renaming of parts of the original series. So if you make a modification to a slice, you are actually also modifying the original series as well. So in this example here, we're starting off with this states series again slicing out the parts between Tennessee and Pennsylvania, and then changing the value of the abbreviation AZ from the string Arizona to the string the Grand Canyon State. Not only are we doing it to the slice, but it's also going to apply to the original series as well. So here's the original series. I've changed the value of the AZ item to the Grand Canyon state, and we can see that in the original state series, the value was changed as well. So if we want to perform operations on slices and not have them affect the original series, then we need to use the copy method upon the slice so that the slice is actually a different object and not just a renaming of part of the original series. So if I use the copy method here and change the value of the AZ item to the Grand Canyon state, 
when I go back and look at the original series, the value of AZ is still Arizona. I didn't change it because I only changed it on the copy and not on the original series.